Chair, recognize the Senator from Blackhawk, Senator Danielson. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I rise in support of House File 2335. In Waterloo, there is a community-based corrections facility for women that was built well over two years ago. It is ready to be operational. Last year, it was a item that was discussed all the way until Sine die. In the end, the House resisted providing the operational money for this facility. In the long run, the investment in this bill saves money. Community-based corrections for those that have done their time after they've done the crime have an opportunity then to come back to the community and still under supervision begin to build a more productive life. We have to make these investments, Mr. President, if we hope to reduce our long-term prison costs. Today that building sits empty. It is fully constructed but for the operational investment contained in this bill. It matters, Mr. President, because the warranties for all of the kitchen equipment and the other guarantees that are a part of the construction process are well underway. The clock is ticking. And when we know about those kinds of facilities, when they sit idle, they begin to wear out and break down because they're not being used. This isn't just a state issue. Because we work very closely in our community with all of the corrections professionals, we could also save money in our county jail. Rather than placing them somewhere out of the county in another part of the state, in partnership with this community-based community corrections facility, we can save money for them as well. Our county supervisors have identified significant cost savings if we open this facility up. Mr. President, we should have done it last year. I hope that it's the wisdom of the legislature this year, both the House and the Senate and the Governor's signature, that we can begin to make this investment in the long-term savings of our prisons and correction system and fully staff this facility so that those who have done their time can get a chance to build a better life in the communities in which they hope to do that, in this case, Waterloo. So, Mr. President, I hope this bill receives broad bipartisan support, and I encourage a yes vote.